Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday something fairly unique happened. For the first time ever we had a discussion about the buff with an actual dev who did it. And I must admit it was really infuriating to see it happen. Now there was always hope that we could have had a genuine discussion there and there were some really good questions answered. But unfortunately majority of the questions that actually mattered got ignored and half of the questions that did get answered weren't even about guillotine but let's break it down so it all started with this post where they basically kind of explained where they feel they have landed with guillotine and if they have any future plans which basically involve maybe upping her region slightly and we have these data charts posted here which are yet another example that data is meaningless if people cannot interpret the data well enough all right so these sheets are meant to represent main statistics the team used to click guillotines regeneration regeneration per second this graph tracks how much a champion regenerates on average at a consistent scale well and here we have guillotine compared to pretty much right next to Black Widow Deadly Origins. Black Widow Timely is Black Widow Deadly Origins. And Guillotine's region is marked as, you know, tiny bit lower. But here is the key difference that people, well, don't seem to care or don't realize. For instance, when you regenerate the Black Widow Deadly Origins, you do so when you have to. Otherwise, you go in power control mode or incinerate mode and you only use that region when you actually have to regenerate. If you have to regenerate, you can re regenerate, regenerate more and do so quicker. Plus, obviously, then you have the level 3 SIG ability if she's awakened and stuff like that. But in general, Gilding's regeneration does not even remotely compare to most of the champions listed here. And it's silly to pretend that it does. But either way. We can go down to some of the answers and some of the questions and uh, maybe break them down a little bit more and then we're going to go over to community's reaction which well a lot of people are quite pissed <laughs> a lot of people are quite pissed but uh let's get to it so this is, has been closed again but because this got brought up one more time the guillotine buff discussion thread has been revived and now we go Guildin's new kit is paying a large homage to her old kit. What the hell is that? <laughs> new kit is playing large homage to her old kit. Here is a community reaction to this answer about her new kit. A new, basically, her new kit is her old kit. She didn't get a new kit or hardly any. Um, homage to her previous kit. What are you talking about? You got every good thing she had. And you made her worse. The bleed was reduced, her region was destroyed, and special three was removed. Bleed thing put aside, yeah, her region was destroyed and special three was removed. So you, I don't know if you can say that her nuke. It, it's the more I read these answers, the more frustrated I got. I think the one that got me most, I think the one that got me most was this one. We voted for this champion. Why wasn't she targeted as high tier playable champion? With Guillotine's release, we learned that what we need to make sure that our top tier players still have something extra to chew on and we have more skill expression for you guys to show off your cool new toy. You bond banded together and earn. We're going to be considering this heavily if we do any more community choice in the future. We won't be making any massive change to Guillotine regarding this, but your voice on this matter is heard. This is again one of those, I hear what you say, but I don't give a shit moments. First of all, why in the hell would anybody think that, you know, people didn't want or expect her to be good? They're acting surprised and it's like, oh, you guys wanted her to be, you know, relatively high tier champions? Like, oh, we never thought about that. <laughs> this is so patronizing. The first line even already is patronizing. It's like, oh, basically, you guys wanted her to be good? Oh, we, we would have never guessed. Uh, but now that you have told us, now that you have told us, we'll keep it 
you know, in consideration if we do anything like this in the future. But we won't be doing anything with guilty. It's, it's, it's one of those classic lines is like, hey, listen, I hear what you're saying and you're right. I just don't give a shit. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is here. And th this as well. Can you give us an info on how many people are using her now? We have seen some massive change in terms of players picking up new leader work champions with Guild Team. We saw around five to ten times the number of users picking her up and playing her. Well, yeah, no shit. People wanted to see how is the buff. Therefore, naturally, more people did pick her up and use her. And at best of scenario, if you know, ten people used her, and now fifty people use her or hundred people use her, it's still quite shit. <laughs> Still quite shit. So you, you talk about the data, but there are no actual numbers. I would have liked to see actual numbers as well, but ah. okay. And, and that was about it. So this was advertised as like you know, developer answering questions about Guillotine's kit, why they made the choice that they did, and they really didn't. And they really didn't. There's not a single meaningful question answered properly. There were like three, four posts that talked about guillotine. And then they start talking about order, which champions get buffed, why some of the OGs don't get buffed. And none of those are even great answers, I'd say. And then there are a couple latest posts. So. I didn't expect much from this session, but since this got brought to forefront, I did expect either very solid case why Guillotine is a good champion now and we're just being ungrateful little brats, which we didn't get. Probably a good thing. Or I expected there to be some sort of acknowledgement and what things will be changed about her, which is effectively nothing, maybe regeneration in future. Slightly. It doesn't address any of the other issues like lack of utility or just overall underwhelming rework in general which kind of makes the situation worse because people had somewhat moved away from this guillotine failure and not now now the the emotion now the spark has kind of been reignited for a lot of champions And that obviously has revitalized this thread here, where we had fairly large discussion about guillotine community buff. And we can just read some of the replies. We can just read some of the replies here. I will leave a link to this thread, both of the threads, I think, in the video description. And Here's the thing, the game is not doing well. By no standard of measure, I think anybody can stand in front of me telling me right now that the game is in a good place and it's doing great. In competitive aspects or whatever. We just had an absolute embarrassment of some showdown. The game's still not fixed and has been broken for like five months from controls issues and game crashes to a point where Kebab has to send out regular weekly and monthly compensations to players just to kind of incentivize players to keep playing. Uh, and then we get stuff like this, where we heard you, you voted for her and you wanted her to be good, we heard you, but we're not going to do anything about it. I genuinely don't understand. They heard us, they aren't just, <laughs> they just aren't going to do anything. Reminds me of the difference between hearing and listening. Oh, there we go. There's plenty of this. There's plenty of this. But ultimately, the bottom line is Kabam are willing to have somebody spend hours upon hours upon hours to make graphs, to have the dev sit down with the player base for a PR stunt. 
that didn't really answer any meaningful questions properly. They're willing to do all that except actually sort out the problem. And I think that describes Kabam quite well. The feeling you get from Kabam right here, right now, is that they think that they have done a great job on Guillotine's rework. And the problem is us. The problem is us who are failing to understand or realize it or appreciate the genius at work that is Kabam rework program here. That is, that, that is the stance that we saw yesterday. We didn't see a remorseful dev admitting to their mistakes. We didn't see anything else aside from the fact that, you know, they're fully standing behind their buff. You could almost feel that they are kind of confused that people don't like it. And people are upset with it. It's like, why? Everything's perfect. Everything is amazing. I did a great job. I'm amazing at my job and she should be loved by everyone. Which is, you know, very fast track of making things go to shit. I'm not the type of player that says player base should get everything they want. Player base often doesn't know what they want and player base often is wrong in fact. But here's the thing. If people don't like something, people think something's bad, a quick session like that's not going to change it. Kabam sticking to their guns and doubling down is not going to change it. Kabam saying that, okay, perhaps we'll slightly increase our regeneration at some point in future, is not going to do it. So, I figured I'll make this video because I saw quite a lot of rumors. I even saw some some uh, people make videos about how Guillotine is going to get a potential buff again and how it's borderline confirmed. And effectively, it hasn't and it won't and she won't. Only thing that Guillotine could potentially get with things as of right now is maybe a slight increase in regeneration at some point in future. But nothing else in her feet would change because Kabam has done a magnificent job with Guillotine. Pathetic. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the